hemoglobin are the iron-containing protein molecules which are found in the red blood cells, that is responsible for carrying oxygen to the lungs and other body tissues. These molecules in return, carry the carbon dioxide taken from the cells. Normal hemoglobin levels should be maintained, to keep the shape of the red blood cells and avoid any disruption in the blood flow. The main function of the hemoglobin, is transporting and combining the oxygen taken by the lungs, through inhalation to all the tissues in the body. After these reactions, carbon dioxide is produced and transported back into the lungs, and released through exhalation. A person should have normal hemoglobin levels, for the red blood cells to fully function. A hemoglobin test which is a part of the complete blood cell count test, is performed to determine the level of hemoglobin, present in the blood. Several methods are used to measure the hemoglobin, which is mostly done through an automated machine where it breaks down the red blood cells, to expose the hemoglobin in a solution. The binding method of the solution and the hemoglobin is called cyan with hemoglobin, and hemoglobin level is measured by shining a light into the solution. The amount of hemoglobin, is determined through the amount of light absorbed. Normal hemoglobin levels of a person vary depending on the age and gender of the person. The hemoglobin levels stated below are expressed through the amount of hemoglobin in grams, g, per deciliter, dl. Newborns, 17 to 22 grams slash dl. Children, 11 to 13 grams slash dl. Adult men, 14 to 18 grams slash dl. Adult women, 12 to 16 grams slash dl. Pregnant women, 11 to 12 grams slash dl. These values are just average hemoglobin levels and may slightly differ for each laboratory. When hemoglobin level is lower than the normal hemoglobin levels, this simply means that the person is having low hemoglobin. A slight difference might be considered insignificant and may not show any symptoms. Lowering of hemoglobin levels might be of natural causes or due to some conditions and diseases. Normal lowering of hemoglobin count may be due to pregnancy and menstrual periods. Other causes due to diseases are as follows. Iron deficiency. Lack of vitamin B12 and folate deficiency. Bone marrow problem. Aplastic anemia. Cancer. Cirrhosis. Some medications for HIV and chemotherapy. Hodgkin's lymphoma. Lead poisoning. Kidney disease. Multiple myeloma. Leukemia. Myelodysplastic syndrome. Diseases that destroy red blood cell before they can reproduce. Enlarged spleen. Sickle cell anemia. Porphyria. Vasculitis. Thalassemia. Other temporary reasons for decreased hemoglobin levels are due to severe loss of blood from an accident or surgery and taking of medications that cause hemoglobin to decrease. <music> Symptoms that are caused due to low hemoglobin include, tiredness, dizziness, headaches, poor concentration, shortness of breath, chest pain, heartburn, swelling of hands and feet, vomiting, stools with blood. High hemoglobin level is mostly seen on people, who live at high altitude places, and those who smoke. Some possible causes of increase in the normal hemoglobin levels are Dehydration Emphysema this is a lung disease that destroys the exchange mechanism of the lungs that is responsible for the mixing of oxygen into the blood. When the body is supplied with insufficient oxygen it causes hemoglobin to rise up. Tumors Polycythemia rubrivira, this is a disease that causes proliferation on the number of red blood cells which also affects the level of hemoglobin. Drugs that enhance performance The symptoms of high hemoglobin levels are Dizziness Dysfunctional cognition Mental confusion Occurrence of a bluish color and visible mucous membranes in the skin, mostly on lips and fingertips Swelling Sudden numbness Temporary loss of hearing and vision An increase in the normal hemoglobin levels may sometimes indicate some metabolic problems Symptoms stated above should not be ignored and must be checked for possibility of high hemoglobin level. To treat an increase or decrease in hemoglobin level, the doctor has to first identify the main source of changes in the hemoglobin. Medications and proper diet are recommended to get back the normal hemoglobin levels. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, Health Destination.